My experiment was about finding out if sugar water would affect the growth of plants. Sugar is a natural substance called glucose used in our bodies to help them function correctly. It is a carbohydrate made up of 12 atoms of carbon, 22 atoms of hydrogen, and 11 atoms of oxygen. It is also used for energy, but too much can also produce diseases in your body. It can cause problems like obesity. Obesity can cause many other problems like diabetes and cardiovascular disease. For my experiment, I used two different groups of plants, snapdragons and pansies. Each plant had two of its own groups, experimental and control. The experimental plants were the ones that were given sugar water, and the control plants were given regular water. Every morning for three weeks, I gave each plant four ounces of the kind of water prescribed to them. I hypothesized that the sugar water would help speed up the growth, causing more flowers to bloom. But after about two weeks, the experimental group slowly started to die. They started to smell, shiver, and all the flowers died. The control group, however, grew many flowers and buds. Their height increased as well. In this experiment, I have concluded that plants already have enough natural sugar, which helps with the process of their growth. However, if they are given too much sugar, they die from an overdose. My hypothesis was wrong because the plants which received the sugar water did not survive or increase in growth. My research shows that sugar can actually be used to kill plants. Plants need nitrogen to grow. This nitrogen comes from the soil. Sugar causes microorganisms in the soil to use the nitrogen, leaving nothing for the plants. So, the plants die. One helpful application of this finding is that sugar water can be used to kill weeds. Using sugar to kill weeds instead of harmful chemicals is better for the environment and for humans. I hope that this video helped you learn a little bit more about the plants and the effect sugar has on them. Thanks for watching!